Okay, so here, you know, you're looking for papers and your wife finds a book, a journal that your mom wrote in years ago when her little boy at three and a half years old was telling her that he was talking to Jesus. And I could just imagine what, what happened that day with you because it was just beautiful to hear that even your wife giving you, you know, the book. You know, she, your mother played a big part here, a huge part with you. Um, I believe that, you know, you wrote on pen and paper because of your mother, your prayers, your, you know, everything that now that you've led up to this point, you know, started with your mother, with the visions, the, the visitation, and your mother writing it all down. And here I wanted to make the connection, and it's Revelation one nineteen. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. And this is exactly you walking through that verse. You know. She wrote down what you saw. And that is the beginning. And right now you speak of the things that are. Okay, you're speaking of her, you're speaking of your testimonies. Okay, you know, you're, you've got, now you're, you're working on and in God's authority. You're working in with the, that good courage that we pray for here. And here now, like, like you seeing this woman and this woman not seeing you tells me that, you know, it's the, you know, it's the foretelling of it. Okay. To look out for this woman it's foretelling when you and I which I had forgotten to mention that when there was that fire around you and the the cherubs also you saw yourself in the throne room and you were on the on the throne or you were on the floor before the throne and you speak very fluently about what's going to happen in the hereafter where you know in the future of the you know, the survivors that we're going to be continuously learning and trying to understand God because God is an infinite. There is no ending to the, his understanding. So this, and you speak very fluently of this. And this is like the foretelling, okay? Blessed are your ears for they see and your uh, ear, uh, blessed are your eyes for they see and the ears for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many par prophets and, and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye have seen, and see not them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Um, and again, this is exactly what we're speaking of here, and this is within our testimony, which lines up with Scripture. So again, we, we thank your mother you know, um, who, who played a very big part here bringing this forward. Because like I say, I mean, you've opened up the, the doors and windows for me um, when you mentioned this woman who was standing beside Jesus. And I need to know now because I've heard a female voice twice and I need to know. So, I thank you for that, and um, another thing I wanted to, to bring up also was people really need to understand that they cannot be neglecting their gifts that are given to them. And I'm going to speak with this here, and that is discernment. If you don't have discernment, pray for discernment. Pray for it. Make it without ceasing. Pray night and day for it. Understand it. Wear it. You know, because right now we're at a time where we really 
need to use our discernment. Now, I've been using my discernment all my life. I mean, as far back as I can remember. I remember that everybody, every soul that was put in front of me was tested. I didn't look at what that person had to say. I was looking at the heart and how they would react to what I said. So if that's not testing spirits and, and, and sharpening your gifts and, and, you know, your sword being, not sword, but your gifts in, in discernment. And Jeremy, what I see here and what I've, you know, picked up, truly, I mean, there's, there's something here and it's big and we're going to, and we're moving. This is what, you know, my dream represented that we were moving at, at highway speed and that Jesus was in full control and that the night was going to fall and that a woman will lead. And then you confirmed it by the woman who was standing beside Jesus and your affection towards this woman, not affection, but your, your pull towards this woman with the thousand faces. You've seen where you're already home, Jeremy. If you can understand that, that makes sense actually. <laughs> but, okay, so I think I've got everything. So, you know, I am a witness to you know, the Trinity and the separating of the three being individuals, being one, I, I'm a witness to that. I'm a witness to when he speaks of your heart on, he puts words onto your heart. And this is like a need to know basis on our part. It's not something that we, you know, just think about and, and, and uh, ponder on for months or whatever, but it's something that's given to us Im immediately. And I, this at this point this is what I wanted to say when I had that orb and, and it, I was looking right at it I knew I I was very much calm there was no fear there was no you know it was just waiting for the next move and um, so yeah the, the trust was all in him and uh, this is the message and um, yeah and Irish you're so right you know like here we are we're sicker we're so sick and Look what's come out of all of this. It's amazing. It's amazing. So again, thank you very much, Jeremy. And your, I want to thank your wife. I don't know if you have any children yet. I haven't uh, gotten into too much of your background there. But, um, but blessings to your family, Jeremy. And thank your family, you know, for giving you a little bit where you can take the time to get on YouTube and I know it takes a lot of time and writing and thought and uh, I know it's time consuming uh, my husband feels the you know where I'm at times where it's it's starting to really flow and it's coming out it there I have no time for nobody it's like I don't listen to it's I'm just constant I'm saturated in the word I just can't stop you know so thank your family for you know lending you to us <laughs> So, uh, again, no fear, be love, and give hope.